Like many inner city schools, Pimlico in South London is dependent on overseas teachers to help it through its recruitment problems. Uh, I shouldn't see anyone in a coat. Australian Callum Clugston's teaching a year nine you class, which Bailey's observing. One of the jobs that you could do if you were good at English is proofread. There is actually money in this. There are people who do this for a living. How much money? I can't tell you the market rate at the moment, but there might be some people in the room who could help you with that. Callum's been teaching for five years. It's his second at Pimlico, and he's finding it tough. It does not have capitals, it does not have full stops, and it doesn't have paragraphs in it. You need to put that in. That's what you need to do. You don't need your books right now. You need to mark capitals, full stops, paragraphs, and any other punctuation, commas. You're constantly interrupted. Leon, sorry. They've been kept in from the previous class. It's when they're pretending to be good still. Explaining what's happening again. First of all, this character at the front. What do you think of him? What do you do? You. What's he like? How would you describe the effect and the presence you got there? Um, he's consistent. I think that's the aim. Um, he's he's neutral. Um, it's okay. It's not a trick question. Yeah. I, yeah. I, yeah. No. I'm. I'm thinking. Um, it's not scary. Leon, 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 what are you doing? What are you doing? No, Leon, sorry. Leon, Leon, code off. Start work, please. I suppose my idea of him is he's visible, he's clear, and he's patient. Um, He is very, very closely focused on one idea, and in this, in this situation anyway. Um, when, when there is other activity going on, he ignores it and draws the activity back onto the original idea. Over here, please. The green chair by Sam. Right, there shouldn't be anyone speaking. Looking for people doing the right thing. Uh, for those people who have just arrived, and that includes Baktash, there is a sheet on your desk. It has no capitals, full stops, punctuation or paragraphs. You need to mark them in. Baktash, I'm looking for people doing the right thing. I'm seeing Harika and Nabila. It possibly seems to the crowd that they don't, that he isn't aware of anything else. I can see that I can see that that it could be a strength and a weakness at the same time. Okay, um, I, I go along with that. Calm, yeah. clear, focused. It looks to me like you're pretty clearly uh, in control of the room. Yeah. Do you want that figure to be warmer at all? Yeah, there are teachers who do the um, nice to see you coming. This is going to be a great lesson. No. How do you do? Do you want okay. to go in for any of that stuff? That what what you're actually seeing there is a is a very very practiced and very um, um, very very carefully constructed character that doesn't doesn't engage on a, on a personal level like that in the classroom. Mary, what are you doing? What should you be doing? Your bag needs to be on the floor. Have you finished, Mark? This is what's happening. You can have the sheet up. You don't have the sheet. Back to it. Oh, you've got the wrong sheet. I'm sorry. Hang on to that because you're going to need it. Now, yes, I am. The traditional instinct at this point with a student that I don't know is that it's really quite easy to create that. And you've all heard this, you know. Don't, don't smile till Christmas. It's much easier to play the intimidating role, or at least the robotic one, um, at this stage. And the body language can change 
later. Now, I suppose that it's, yeah, it's worth pointing that out, but it's true. Nahom and Jahida are doing the right thing. I'm actually much more concerned about camouflaging the fact that I'm a soft touch. I mean, that's, that, that is, that's what goes into my head all the time. If I demonstrate that to them and it fails, I'm completely stuffed. Well, maybe, but I'm saying stuff like saying hello to them when they come in the room. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying roll over, it's freedom silly. I want you to write Three things that are different. I don't get it, sir. I'll be right. Wait there, I'll be right up. You put those positives up on the board at the beginning of the lesson. Yeah. Sir, can I have some help, please? I'll be right over, Lou. And it exerts really powerful control. Yeah. And that comes straight from the, the positive behaviour management world, the um, you know, mm. give a direction, let them know you're doing the right thing. Give the command, acknowledge three children for carrying it out. If you do the yeah. right thing, you're all right by me. Locus of control with the teacher. Yeah. Um, and it's very powerful, especially in foundation period. I think that you're doing some of it, but not all of it. Yeah. So, for example, um, if you're going to go to the whiteboard and give positives at the beginning of the lesson, why don't you do it in the middle and the end as well? Why don't you have two or three tours of duty? Uh, to the whiteboard, which I've seen people doing. OK, I'm just going to talk for one more minute. If you said that you've got commas and full stops, that's absolutely true. Well done. Hey, Tess, have you finished? Huh? Have you finished? I have to give you a formal warning here now. That if I don't say this done, you're going to have to do it next door with Mr Parker. Is that clear? You've closed the distance between you and... Is it back to Ash? And back to Ash, yeah. Uh, uh, and I like that. As a matter of fact, I wanted you to crouch down a bit. I didn't want you to loom yeah. over him. Um, the good thing about it is, though, that it looks to them like I'm actually being very intimidating. But in fact, in the private conversation, I'm simply telling him to do what everybody else has done. You got that down? Okay. Because I'm new here, and I don't know who did that. Amy, can and you, you went and you. Sir, can you sit properly, please? Sir, you were in charge of I my will need, I will need to talk to you about this when the lesson is over. Yeah, but you were in charge. See, I'm out. I don't think you need to look intimidating. Hey, Cheyenne, can you hand out some books for me, please? You've got a minute to do this. We've got a task to do. Now, is Cheyenne's handing out books? You can start right now, Amir. Very pleased once you gave him a job. Yeah. Um, Often the worst, I mean, the worst behaved kids are always the, the best ones to ask. They're usually actually very good at that sort of task. When you asked him to give the stuff out, you might have thought of just saying to him how you wanted him to give them out. I yeah. I want you to give these books out. I'm looking to see you handing them to people personally and doing a good job yeah. of it. That's my man. Off yeah. You go. Uh, yeah. He was happy to be the centre of attention. He's going to do, he, he's going yeah. to do a bit of exercise book flinging at it. Yeah. Yeah, that, that is actually, and that is actually the cause of the chaos, yeah. That's, it's not always clear where that comes from in the, in the classroom, yeah. This little group in here. Um, yeah. This, okay. child, this child's been talking for about 20 minutes. Yeah. And it's, it's difficult to control because they're bunched together. Yeah. Um, but yeah. he's been running a kind of constant chat session um, yeah. from, that, that, from that position. Back to your seat, please. In your seat. And do I have to tell Miss Byford this isn't working? It cranks up the yeah. tension on you, and it cranks up the tension in the classroom. Yeah. And there were quite a few occasions when you'd have had it there if there wasn't that tap, 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 tap. Um, it's not machine yeah. gun fire, but it's light arms fire. Uh, coming from yeah. the second row. What am I looking for? Always. Folders and books in your bags. You're standing wa quietly waiting behind your desk. Well done, Lucky. Chelsea, wait. Chelsea, wait. There. Routine really breaks her up on the way out. That's true. You haven't told them what the routine is. Well. Uh, there is a yeah. I haven't I haven't taught it explicitly, but there is a routine. I usually what 
what happens is there's one group that's let go, and then I, then I have to let the others go. But I am relying on them expecting that. A few of them don't know that. In five that's minutes, true. the lesson's going to end. Remember, I'm going to let the first row go, then the second row go, okay. then the third row go. I'm going to want to see people sitting up with their bags put away, then we'll be ready to leave. Now I know that's what I'm going to get. Queued up about five minutes in advance. Yeah. John set Callum a few challenges to think about overnight. To use more positive language, to give more explicit directions during lessons, and to get pupils on task earlier so that the plenary becomes more effective. John's also trying to encourage Callum to be more himself in the classroom. But does he have the courage? This is what you need to do. You have a very long sentence here, Maruf. It goes a little something like this. While she was feeling afraid she might be caught by the people who were chasing after her, she picked up all of Longy's and without another thought of anyone but herself, she ran down the lane as fast, as fast as her legs could carry it. It's very long and as Fatima says, there's, there's a few commas missing, things that would be helpful. I thought it was great. I really enjoyed it. And I counted five or six occasions when we had prolonged and protracted focus um, on the work. Um, so I thought it was, it was good. And when, when I went to speak to them, yeah, they were engaged and focused on the task. Yeah, I want you to get rid of most of it. I want you to keep it as short as you can. Nice and short. Well done, Prince. I thought that the encouragement and praise that you were giving out today was fairly evenly distributed between, between sort of work and appropriate behaviour. You know, probably balanced more towards work. But, but having said that, there was actually a lot more work yeah. actually going on. Yes. Like the short one there. Five words. Kadeem. She was afraid by someone. She was afraid of someone. OK, girls. Your presence in the lesson yesterday um, that I thought your voice was a bit strong and monotone. She ran, genius. Your voice changed, your, your, your affect changed yeah. in the classroom. As, as they got more engaged in the work, um, I could feel you relaxing into the room yeah. um, as well. You've got a great sentence here. It's a nice and short. It says, the cat slept on the roof. I want you to make that sentence as long as you can. Our cat slept on the roof so no dog should catch it. If I, if I behave the way that I do then, in front of a, of a group that don't know me this early in the year, um, I'd just be slaughtered. Because he wouldn't stand up for himself. He might say yeah. he did. You've got did that. Oh, yes, thank you, Sophie. Fantastic. Okay. The more of a personality you put out, the more that you give, more opportunity you give unengaged, um, the students, more, the more ammunition you give them. Yeah, no, that's, that's very well put. When classes have got some touchy and difficult characters in, mm. um, you're all the time trying to decide how much of yourself to give, uh, yeah. because they want some of you, um, but you're also mm. trying to decide how much risk you're going to take. Yeah. Callum's made great strides since his session. People! People! But he knows he has some way to go to be good mentions for this, but they need to be sitting in a chair. That's what you have to do.